So artificial intelligence has become quite the hot topic these days. And as you probably know, we've only started to scratch the surface of the potential that this technology holds in for us. However, how do we move beyond the gimmicks into some real meaningful solutions? Hey, my name is Van der Puchert, and I believe that most of the world problems, even the new challenges, are just interesting design challenges in disguise. Quick caveat, now I never run sessions or activities or projects that specifically focus on a, a specific technology. I believe that you start with the human problem, the challenge or the business challenge, and then work out what solution or technology might bring a solution for you. However, in this video, I want to highlight a specific tool, a card deck, that's specifically related to artificial intelligence. And I think um, for you, it might be different. You might have to run a session with artificial intelligence. This will do the job. But then also for us mere mortals, it's always important to kind of arm yourself because I don't know about you, but for me specifically, artificial intelligence is starting to pop up in a lot of activities that I facilitate. And sometimes it's important to also know if some of these things that people are talking about, it's really feasible and also to arm yourself with, with knowledge and then also be able to guide people through some of these technologies. So in this video, I want to introduce you to the AI Ideation Card Deck, 24 cards um, full of artificial intelligence goodness. So without further ado, let's crack open this solid box. Yes, indeed, a very solid box you can see by the packaging that a lot of love has gone into this, some acknowledgements and details on the back. And then also what I thought was a good touch is that you can see uh, a very basic instructions on how to use the cards here on the side of the box. And then inside though, you will see that there is a set of, I think around 26 cards. Um, the first two is basically um, a card that gives you uh, a very simple breakdown of a very simple use case or application of the cards or the tool, and then some um, additional use case suggestions. And then um, this is probably one of the more important cards here is that you have a breakdown of seven categories that are available within this card deck. I've laid out the seven categories here. You can see they're all nicely color-coded, um, nicely designed with symbols. I also have to mention, I nearly forgot that the card stock here, the material the cards are made of is really nicely put together, a nice quality set of cards here. And then um, as I just grabbed this first category, I just wanted to also point out that each of the categories consists of a category explainer card with some information at the front and the back. I'll get into that in a second. But then there's a whole set of um, what if scenario cards with um, how the technology can be applied and then a whole ton of examples at the back of the card. But I'll show you more in detail in a second. Let's go through the seven categories. So category one here is depersonalization. Um, of course, this is a great application of artificial intelligence, how you can personalize experiences for people at scale. Context awareness, of course, we are moving around um, and as we move and interact with the environment, how can technology adapt um, the experience for us? So for example, when you're driving and not notifications stop automatically, you have simulated presence. Of course, there's a massive blurred line these days between the digital world and the real world, if you will. And this is where simulated presence comes in. Intelligent interfaces, something that I've been really excited about. Some of my colleagues work in this space is how um, you can start interacting with voice, with gestures, with facial recognition, all these kind of interesting things. We don't just use screens and mouses and keyboards anymore. Then we look at semi-autonomous action. So probably for industry, this is an important uh, category um, is how you can take simple actions and then uh, automate those using technology, right? So where human interaction doesn't really need to be involved anymore. Then in uncovering insights, I have a lot of colleagues who love this application of artificial intelligence. So if you have massive amounts of data, you have to crunch through that. It's some, sometimes easier for the technology to spot finer patterns or perhaps also generate a ton of insights from large amounts of data. And then finally, advanced automation. That is the interesting one where pieces of complex processes can be automated using artificial intelligence. A simple one that I can think of uh, now is uh, I have an artificial intelligence tool that actually helped me schedule meetings. So it really simplifies my workflow uh, during the day. Now I promise to give you a little bit more of a taste of what happens 
in the categories. Once again, I just want to point out, I'm not going to show you everything out of respect for the creators of the card deck. Um, by all means, if you want all the content, and hopefully I'll give you enough as taster to go out and grab a set. So I have just grabbed the context awareness category here. And as mentioned, you have the category explainer card here. And then also uh, in this specific instance, you have two what if scenarios. So let me just show you what's going on here on the context awareness card. So here you have context awareness and then a bit of an explainer around what this context or this, uh, this artificial intelligence application is about. And then what I really enjoy is you flip the card around, there's a nice uh, set of detailed explainers here. So for example, what is the value of context awareness? So for example, in this case, read the room and adapt without explicit instructions. Some simple examples of the application. So for example, auto pause notifications while you're driving, I've mentioned that. But then also it dives into the technical capabilities that's required, right? So face and, and sound recognition, computer vision, context awareness, all these kind of things that are related to context awareness. Then what I also enjoy uh, for these specific categories is pros, what is really great about it. So more helpful, it's appropriate, it's relevant. But then what are some of the cons related to this, uh, this technology? So for example, privacy as I move around, it captures my data, that might be a con. And then things to think about here, to ponder at the bottom here is with intelligence all around us, will uh, there be a private domain? So it also kind of taps into a previous video that I talked about is about around the ethics around the usage of this. Now that is the category card. So as mentioned, you have two what if scenarios and let me grab the first one here. So what if you can understand the physical context of where your user is and what they are doing? And then a little bit more information here, detect locations such as home, work, shop, activities such as walking, driving, sitting and standing. We can see some of that coming through already. And then human activity recognition as a further kind of explainer. Then at the back of the card, you have a whole set of current examples. So for example, auto pause notifications, I've mentioned it a couple of times. And then they have one here, Alexa gives you responses based on whether you're at home, driving, on the train or in public. Then the last one here that I'll just read here is notice and adapt to people using apps differently depending on local location or activity. So really, um, I've just mentioned three. There's three more here and then same for the other scenarios. So this gives you a little bit of a taste. And trust me, each of these categories are packed full of examples. Some categories have less. So for example, in context awareness, you have still a lot of examples but only two what if scenarios. And then some of the other costs, for example, um, uh, the advanced automation has uh, four what if scenarios with whole set of what if and examples here at the back that you can go and explore. So the question comes up, so how do I use these cards? So one of the first or recommended use cases that they suggest is that uh, uh, when you run an ideation se session, after defining your problem statements, of course, like what user needs that I'm trying to fulfill, or what business challenge am I trying to solve for, get the team during an activity to maybe think about that problem challenge statement, grab one of these cards and look at one of the what if scenarios and see if they can actually use this technology to solve that problem. How many ideas can your team come up with um, seeded by some of the concepts on these cards? And you can repeat that a couple of times to see what kind of ideas can be generated. There's of course a whole set as outlined in the card deck of other use scenarios. So for example, you can go into the exploration of ethics around artificial intelligence because there's a lot of information in these card decks that explains or deep dives some of the use cases and pros and cons and value. But then one of the scenarios that I thought could be really interesting and something that I'm gonna be using this for in the future is around customer journey mapping. If you don't know what that is, it's really around mapping out how a customer interacts with your organization, you identify touch points, friction points, uh, really um, step by step how a customer interacts with the products and services within your organization. Now, usually you identify some sticky points and then um, perhaps you could explore some of the artificial intelligence solutions um, within this card deck to solve some of the sticky points within that customer journey. So for example, when it comes to mass customization, crunching through big sets of data, that kind of stuff I think could be really relevant for some of the work I'm doing. But uh, what do you think? Is there anything that you would be keen to use this on? Okay, cool, so this is it. Um, artificial intelligence ideation cards, grab them at AIXdesign.com, quite a mouthful. 
send them some money, they'll send you a card deck like this. I know this is not a sponsored video. But that being said, I would love to know what you think, any reaction here, any tools that you would recommend. And as always, catch you in the comments.